or good evening or good afternoon from any part of the world. My name is Tony Hernandez Pumarejo and if, if you don't know me or this is the first time you're watching a video of mine, allow me to introduce myself to you. I'm, I am a person who is diagnosed with autism. Uh, I'm a person um, that I'm a self-advocate, autistic self-advocate for all of those that have autism and also other disabilities. I'm a person that defends their rights to a better life and I do different types of projects within the community. Uh, first things first, I am, the write, I am a writer and author of my book called An Autism and a Scripted Life in which in that book I talk about the challenges that I went through as a person with autism and how I was able to overcome those challenges in order to achieve very you know, key goals in my life, such as graduating from college with a bachelor's degree, um, be able to work full-time as a manager in customer service and sales, uh, also do work and you know, advocacy work within the autism community and other projects. And also right now, I'm a TV collaborator with the program Despierto Orlando, every, in which I do my own uh, segment uh, TV segment every week at Univision in Orlando, Florida. So it's an honor and a privilege, a privilege to be with all of you today, tonight, anytime that you're watching the video. Uh, today I'm going to talk about a topic that is affecting us directly or indirectly, let's say it, directly all to all of us around the globe. And it's the topic of the coronavirus, COVID-19. Uh, this is a video, uh, the, the, the COVID-19 um, or the coronavirus is a disease that is affecting our entire planet that was originated in China and has spread across our globe. And right now it is an ongoing, uh, it's, a pan, you know, it's a pandemic. It's a situation that is affecting all of us, and right now, you know, the number of cases growing um, throughout the world is continuing to increase every single day. And right now, because of the situation that we're going through right now, uh, we have seen different types of situations that have risen as a result of this disease, uh, especially more in the area of preparation. Uh, the response the, the response from people uh, to all levels of society to this pandemic. Uh, we have seen, uh, you, know, you know, governments taking control, taking action towards, you know, controlling uh, the spread of this disease. We have seen response from members of our community, both good, but also, you know, not very good. Uh, we have seen the canceled, you know, people getting sick, uh, being diagnosed, uh, self, you know, being quarantined, uh, testing positive, and also negative to this disease. Um, not, you know, we have seen an increased number of these cases across the globe. As a result, we have seen the cancellation of different events. Uh, you know, schools being suspended, uh, economies being affected. Overall, our overall, you know, global society has been affected by this. Uh, this is an unprecedented, an unprecedented event uh, throughout our history, and this is this will be something that will, that will be talked about uh, for a very very long time. In fact, in fact, you can say that our life has you know this this disease has already made its you know tremendous impact in our world. So that's something that needs to be considered. Right now, um, the reason why I'm doing this video is is to is to talk about a concern that I have, and it's in regards to the response of you know of the community in regards to the to the disease. Um, it is very you know it is very for me personally very I'm very concerned very I'm you know, very sad the way in which there have been a lot of, res you know, in terms of different responses to the spread of the coronavirus. We have seen supermarkets being, you know, the shelves have been empty. We've seen, you know, people buying a lot of stuff, you know, taking everything like it is the end of the world. 
Uh, we have seen, you know, people fighting within our within themselves for things, you know, basic items such as you know toilet paper, food, medicine, and any other, and other things. And it, that's and that concerns me. You know, I'm very concerned. More not in terms of the economic, you know, the economic impact because of the coronavirus, but more the state of mind of our of our pop, of our human population. Uh, and it's something that needs to be considered in you know the way in which we are responding to this crisis. Again, uh, this, it's, this is not to put fear or, or anything. This is just to explain my concern. And, and more important, to think about the way in which we are responding uh, to, to this, um, not crisis, but to this challenge worldwide. So overall, excuse me. Uh, it is very important uh, to realize that we need to be calm, but we need more important, we need to have a, an action plan. So basically, we need to you know, take everything under control, uh, especially you know, speaking as an advocate uh, for families that have loved ones with autism and other disabilities. It is very important for all of you to take the necessary measures uh, to guide your child, you know, your, you know, your child, and also include an adult child with autism in terms of the situation that is happening in our world. Uh, explain it to them through images, depending, of course, on the challenges that they face, but also show leadership. I want to write that word. It is very important for families to show leadership at this times of challenge to their loved ones and also to their friends. It is very important to have an action plan, an emergency plan, in order to proceed not you know, be able to deal not only with the, with the virus, but also other challenges that come in that are affecting in our world, especially over the last couple of years, which our world has been challenged, you know, has come to different challenges and tough situations. So it's very important to show leadership. Uh, with starting with families, uh, go with the action plan. Then talk with your friends. Uh, in terms of this action plan, it is it's very important to be able to have that. So because we don't know how you know what's going to happen in the next couple of days, weeks, months. So it's very important to have this plan uh, in order to be able to deal with the challenge that is affecting everybody. So not only uh, families have to have this plan, uh, be in contact with their friends, but also community. Community. In order to uh, deal, you know, for me personally, the only way in which we are going to overcome this challenge of the coronavirus or any other challenge that comes in is through community. Uh, right now we have seen different cases of people uh, reacting to this situation in a very, I, I don't want to say crazy, but in a very, um, you know, um, you know, very, you know, you know, like in a very, um, I don't know how to say it, but in a way which is not, uh, not you know, like a, like a panic mode like um, responding to this, you know, fighting within our, I mean, people fighting within the, our, themselves for the, as I said, the, the basic necessity you know, items in our uh, supermarkets and other areas. And people taking a lot, you know, I saw a picture, a uh, video today of two uh, people fighting for toilet paper in Sydney, Australia. And it's, again, it's very concerning that there's, there's a lack of a community in our society right now in which people are pulling, you know, taking everything for themselves, taking, you know, this is mine, don't touch me, don't touch it or anything. And we need to start changing that. Having that individual and that, you know, that behavior is not helpful and can make the situation worse. And a lot of times I think this is even worse than the, you know, the, the virus, sometimes in my mind. 
because of the way in which we are reacting to this crisis. And it's very important to change our approach, to take things, you know, to be very, you know, to be calm, but to also show control and leadership in these times of great challenge. Uh, so it's very important for people all over, you know, all over the world, especially, you know, especially here in the, in the U.S., to show more uh, of a, an attitude of commitment, you know, more commitment and more community uh, within ourselves and work together towards overcoming the challenges that will come in the next couple of days, weeks and months with the virus. That's the only way we're going we're gonna to survive, you know, we're going to overcome this great challenge. If we continue on our, on our path of dysfunction and our path of chaos and fighting and arguing and not being you know together, then we, we're going to have more problems, uh, you know, continue to rise. And as I said, it's not to be negative, it's not to be an alarmist, but it's to recognize the situation and to really think and to really think the way in which we are approaching and dealing with this. Uh, situation. I'm not saying everybody's doing it this, you know, the, you know, this way. Uh, there are people that are, you know, giving in to, you know, they're working together, and more of a community-based, uh, you know, behavior, and that's great. Uh, but much more needs to be done in our society in order to deal with this situation. So overall, uh, my advice is to continue for all families, for all peoples, to take the all the, the necessary measures, uh, take care of your of your health, you know, high, you know, safe hygiene, uh, cleaning, uh, make sure that you're protecting your environment, uh, have an emergency plan with your loved ones, with your friends, especially with your community and, and neighbors. Um, you know, maybe you don't know that, you know, your own neighbor, but it's time to know your community, to know your surroundings. Uh, to you know, people that you know that you had you know challenges or issues in the past, it's time to put aside those sh issues for the time being, in order to focus towards a common goal, which is to overcome this challenge of the coronavirus, as one world, not only humans, but also animals, because again, we're not the only beings in this world. Animals and plants and everybody counts in this world. We have one world. And we need to work together uh, to be able to overcome this challenge and create a better society. So overall, we need to show leadership. We need to be more of a community. And also very important, very important, we need to show gratitude. We need to be grateful for what we have. We need to be grateful for the, you know having a new day of life every day. Uh, as I said, I'm not being religious or anything. Just very important to show gratitude and to be grateful for the new day that we have, because we don't know how when this can end. It can end tomorrow. It can end next week. And it's very important for all of us as beings in this world to be able to go out there and make that difference and to be able to work together uh, towards overcoming this challenge and creating a better society for all. It is, you know, despite what is happening in our world, I think now I'm not talking as an advocate or as a speaker or an author, I'm not selling anything. I'm just talking because, I, you know, I'm just doing this video uh, to put a little bit of my work here uh, to see if I can help somehow, some way uh, towards uh, towards the challenge that is affecting all of us right now, uh, regardless of our background, regardless of where we came from, we are all in this planet together, and it's time for us, time for all of us, to put our egos aside, to leave all the things that we fight every day and we argue for the moment, and focus as one community. Uh, show that leadership and be grateful for what we have and to be able to overcome the challenges whether it's the coronavirus or anything that comes in. We, each person, we have a purpose in this world 
and let's continue to work as one community in overcoming the coronavirus situation and create a better world for all. So if you have any questions, uh, any, any comments that you'd like to, uh, to leave, any very important, any resource that you'd like to leave to help others, please write down, your, write down the comments below. So thank you so, and also very important, one last request before I go, please share this video with everyone that you know from any part of the world. Uh, spread the message uh, with your families, with your friends, with your communities, and let's work together as one planet in overcoming the challenges that affect us all. So thank you so much for being with me here tonight. I thank you that I'm away from your, uh, from your, from your, from your schedule. Greatly appreciate. Um, my name is Tony Hernandez Pumarejo, and let's, con and let's work together towards overcoming the challenge of the coronavirus and other challenges and build a better society for all. And very important, if you're watching right now, never forget that you have a purpose and that each of us are here to make that positive and no lasting difference in our world. Thank you so much.